Hi, yellow. Hi, wonderful people of the internet. As you can see, we're gonna make some sparks. I made my background. Uh, you can make any background, or if you don't want to, you, you just don't need to have any backgrounds. I'm just gonna use this and those two open cables that was probably, I don't know, chewed by some rodents or something. And I am gonna use the luminance brush. And then I just give a little bit of base for the luminance of the sparks on the top of the cables. And then I start using the, the brush. It's just really an easy, a short directional line that I have to do and you also need to think about what's the direction gonna be for your sparks mine are gonna be obviously going all over the place so the thicker part is always have to be away from your base because the base is those two dots and uh, the sparks are obviously gonna fly away from my base after we're done with that, we're just gonna make a new layer and on the new layer, we're gonna continue our tiny lines, but obviously from a little bit of distance away from our first layer. And if you don't want to, you don't need to make all of them because sparks are, they have this thing when they spark, tiny explosion of the spark happens. There's hundreds or sometimes thousands of sparks. It depends on the, the size of your spark baseline. And then eventually they kind of get cold. And as they get cold, they start uh, being dimmer and dimmer and they start disappearing. Uh, some of them will drop down on the floor. If you want to, you can make those type of sparks. My sparks are actually stopping me there because it's just really physics. As soon as the sparks get cold, they disappear. And these cables are obviously just uh, small cables. Um, I mean, I, I did it with an Among Us animation, but you know, I still would like to use some kind of a physics in it because it kind of makes sense and it, it makes it look a little bit more lifelike as a spark. So most of the job is just basically this. You're gonna make new and new layers. It really depends how many sparks and how many uh, tiny explosion of spark do you want to make. And as, as soon as you feel like you have enough layers, that means you have enough frames because one layer is gonna be one frame. Uh, now, when you think you're done, when you have enough time or enough frames or enough, uh, I don't know, seconds, if you crazy enough to draw so much, then you can stop doing it. And then you can just start combining it either with the background or just save them by themselves. And as I said, they get dimmer. So as you can see on my last frame, I, I stopped the uh, fast motion of my drawing. Uh, video so here you can see the last frame that I drew this is way less and this is really just almost done there's no sparks flying around here there's just a few of them left and uh, I'm barely drawing any after these and then I think I made like five six uh, tiny bright lines and that's about it after this nothing there's gonna be nothing so as I said, there's two ways you can finish it. The first way is basically without any background, which means you're just gonna choose your background color, you know, for that first layer that you can't get rid of. It says background, I chose green, and then I went to save it into MP4. Uh, you have animated GIF, uh, animated PNG or MP4. I chose MP4. And then you can adjust your speed with the frames per second. I I just used 14 because I think that's fine for mine. Yours might be different, might be the same. It's, it's really your decision. And then just save it. And the second type is saving it with background. 
Now, for me, I duplicated my background group because I want to flatten it down since I, I have an easier job with that. I just start duplicating the background layer and I make exactly as much background layer as much spark layer I have right there. And when I'm done with that, I, I'm just gonna merge them. And there is something really important to pay attention to. You can only select your spark layer. You cannot select your background layer because you're going to you're going to merge down the background layer and that's going to end you up in no sparks because the background is going to be on top. So you want the sparks to be on top because you want them to show up on your background layer. And then just click on merge down and then you're done. And when you have done all your layers and you merge down all the spark layers with all of your background layers, you can choose what file format you want to save it to. Uh, animated GIF or GIF, animated MP4, animated PNG, and set up the speed. And after you set up the speed, um, you can just click on save or actually export because that's what's the option here is export. And uh, you're done. You can you can enjoy your animation. You can upload it to YouTube. You can show it to your friends. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this one. I, I hope I was able to do. And if you like the video, please press thumbs up. And um, if you actually want to see more, you can check out my channel because I have a few other um, animation in Procreate videos. And uh, yeah, if, uh, if you really liked it, you can actually subscribe. That would help me out a lot. And uh, maybe, maybe sometimes come back to watch some more videos. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you have a good day or a good night. Bye.